What is up guys, Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the custom X Diablo series where we are taking a brand new 2019 X Diablo S and we are customizing it with the support of our patrons and then we're actually giving it away when we're done. If you would like to support, help make these series possible and be entered to win this bike when we're done, check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. Um, we are also giving away a second grand prize, which is a motorcycle of your choice, up to $15,000, and that's anywhere in the world. So um, now anyone in the world can sign up for a chance to win one of these awesome prizes. And again, we're able to do that through a website called Patreon. So be sure to check it out, see if it's something you're interested in, help us fund these awesome projects and give them back to the community when they're done. Uh, today I'm heading over to Santa Barbara of Ducati. I finally got some badass carbon parts. We got the drag handlebars in, the wheels are on their way. I'm super, super excited. This is what I've been waiting for. This is when the book of this bike is really gonna be transformed. We're gonna install some uh, carbon front and rear fenders along with some carbon brake cooling uh, ducts for the front, uh, front brakes. And I'm super excited because we're finally gonna start to change the look of this bike. And oh, the carbon and the steel, just wait guys, it's gonna be badass. So uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode. Man, when I was getting on the highway guys, <laughs> I twisted the throttle pretty hard and the whole freaking front end lifted up, wheelied the shit out of it. I think it's just because we're stripping so much weight off of this. I mean, it could already wheelie like super easy stock. But uh, once we get that Termi up map installed and get the carbon wheels on it and all the carbon body work and stuff, this thing is literally going to be insane. I can't wait to just embarrass some sports cars and literally supercars you can embarrass, sport bikes, everything. It's going to be nasty. All right, so as I mentioned on the agenda today, I'm going to be replacing the uh, rear fender with a carbon fender and the front fender with a carbon fender along with adding carbon brake cooling ducts, which are super cool, probably not needed as this isn't really a track bike, but uh, I think they look really cool and it'll add with the go with the carbon and steel theme uh, really nicely. So I'm really excited. I'm not sure if this will really save any weight, but I know it's going to look really good. So stay tuned. So while we wait for teens to bring over the carbon, we're going to go ahead and start pulling off this uh, rear fender here. And uh, I think it's just a few bolts on each side, but I'm sure there'll be something interesting. Maybe we should weigh this just to see if there's any difference because I'm curious. Do you think there's any difference, Trevor, in weight? I don't I'd say very, good. very minimal. <laughs> this is mainly just a cosmetic upgrade. I got you. Looking. It's all about the look. Yeah. All right. And then it should just come right out here after the bolts there. Damn, dude, that looks so cool like that. And I don't know if I remembered, but uh, Trevor said get an R or an Olin shock if we're going to call this an R model. So we did order the uh, Olin's rear spring for this bad boy. But there you go. Look how naked that looks. That's actually really cool looking. All right, and then just starting off, or taking the uh, front fender off. Looks like there's two bolts here on each side. There's also a brake cord running through here that we'll have to reroute onto the new piece of carbon. And then we'll have to pull these calipers off in order to fit the uh, carbon cooling ducts on there as well, so. There she is. Look, she's so mad she had to bring this stuff down here. How was I gonna carry that in my book bag, teens? Let's be real. Well. I didn't plan, well. didn't plan well. I blame Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just blame Trevor. Do you want to pull that stuff out and show him real quick while you're no, here? not really. <laughs> She's the worst. This is what I have to deal with, guys. She doesn't want to be in my videos anymore. And now they're not getting any views. I've, I've got stuff to do at The home. people miss you, teens. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Let us Look know in the comment this, section below. A yeah. Cool, cool they send really nice stuff. So we got all of this is Illenberger Carbon. They're the same. They're the same company that makes the Ducati Performance Carbon. So it's super, super high end. And we went with the satin finish. So let me see if I can look at that. Oh my gosh, you're gonna put on your head for Dotto's sake? Thank you, Dotto. We miss you. This is for you. <laughs> but um, we got all these parts obviously through our sponsor, Moto Million, uh, Manny at Moto Million. If you wanna get anything from Manny, you can use code CAMPEZ to save yourself some money. And let's see what the rear fender looks like as well. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this carbon purple. since December, guys. It's purple. it's purple. Don't say that. Look at that. So satin finish. So it has a tiny, tiny bit of shine to it. It's not matte, looks exactly but it's not like glossy. The other one I just showed you. You know what? You know what? Dude, you look so cool with all these bikes behind you right now. Woo. And then the final piece we'll be installing today 
carbon fiber braked cooling ducts on the I'm front. I'm not gonna take them out, but there you go. Yeah. Which we've put on the previous the, bike. The previous two bikes. Watching our series. Yeah, they're super cool, okay. so I'm excited. Thank you, teens. It is cold. You're off the hook. Jeez. You can go home and play video games now. Yeah, I gotta go set up my monitor. Teens is gonna be streaming now. <laughs> she wants to start streaming video games. Why not? What is your what's your tw Twitch account? Want to shout it out? Uh, no. <laughs> Kalittle19. It's my Instagram with 19 because that's my birthday. Twitch.tv slash Kalittle19. Awesome. There you yeah. go. Always Come helping you watch. out. Always Come helping you out. Watch me uh, suck at Apex. Yeah, at Apex Phil, Legends. Phil and Jared Look at all this. Bring, bring this is all the stuff I need to make a video for you guys. Unbelievable. She brought me the camera too because I forgot that. Thank you, babe. I appreciate it. My channel misses you. Uh huh. All right, I'll see you in a few. All right, so swapping in the uh, rear carbon fender, and my God, guys, this carbon looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with it. It's gonna look so good when it's all done. And we also have carbon pieces coming for these here under this, and then obviously the carbon here. It'll be carbon under the belly panel. Everything white on the bike will be carbon except for the tank, which will be brushed steel. So. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Let's get the bulk out of here. So this guy, yeah, that guy comes out. Yeah, it comes off like that. Removing this guy right here. Oh yeah, it runs all the way around the inside, huh? What is that, the ABS? This is the the speed sensor. Oh, for the front wheel? Gotcha. Is that for ABS and traction control? I'll we'll go for that. Gotcha. So guys, check this out. Trevor was just mentioning, see these shims here, these metal shims? Um, they're all there for a reason. And I was saying something so simple as removing a front fender, and when you pull this off to basically you know, reroute the wire, if you forget to put one of those shims on there or something happens that screws that up, that measures these little lines around here, That's this is the ABS sensor, right? Is that part of the ABS sensing? Is yeah. that what that's for? Yeah, the ABS and traction control. Oh, okay, it's so both of those. Sensor, yeah. Got you. Yeah, so if you did something to screw up the shims on this or didn't include one or one fell off or something, you get all kinds of errors, right, on your system. Yeah, so it's so freaking crazy. So even something as simple as removing a fender, I was like, oh, Christina and I probably could have done this. Well, maybe we could have, <laughs> but you screw one thing up and you got problems. So that's why I'm really happy to have Trevor doing this kind of stuff. And that black fender already looks amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So the first thing he did is he ran the ABS sensor wire all up through there and then reattached it. And he said that's when people lose the shims when they're trying to like sort it all out up there. So he just took them off and then put them back on once he was done. That way he didn't lose any. And then you can line this up for the uh, screws here and then you can attach the um, brake line in the back there as well. All right, so we got the carbon piece on. You can see it just looks absolutely beautiful. And then he's just attaching that brake line right there. And this takes the tiniest little screw in there. I've never even seen a screw that looks like that. <laughs> Look at this little, this little tool he has to use in there. I love it. Uh, and then once that's completed, we'll switch over to the uh, carbon brake cooling ducts that Trevor said may or may not actually do any cooling. <laughs> Why you gotta kill my hopes and dreams, Trevor? <laughs> All right, so the front carbon fender is installed. Looks awesome. It's kind of a weird way they have of routing the wire, the uh, ABS line sensor. Um, so we actually ended up taking it back off and making sure that it went in there properly. But now it's all good to go. And next, we're going to install the uh, carbon brake cooling ducts. So we're just hooking the caliper there, and then it should slide in what over here, I think, right? Yeah. So there you go. Trevor got the first one installed here on the left-hand side looks so freaking awesome and he said yeah it actually might have some cooling application because because of the way it's designed it, it could funnel some air into that caliper which again is more stuff that would probably matter on the track but I think it looks really cool and it's cool to have like stuff that that makes your uh, everyday street bike a little bit more uh, blinged out you know so those are that's a glossy finish all the our carbon is a satin finish so there is a little bit of a difference there, but um, I think it looks cool. I'm excited. That will be the only gloss carbon on the entire bike right there. And that's it, so I dig it. All right, torquing down the uh, caliper bolts. 42 Newton meters on each one, and we're gonna do it on each side. 
All right, so we got everything installed today. Uh, I'm actually gonna drive it over to the beach so I can take some photos, and then uh, I'll show you a closer look when we get over there. But God, I'll tell you initial impressions, impressions, a little taste of how badass this bike's gonna be. I'm super excited. All right, let's head on over to the beach. God, I love this bike. Dude, in the chillier weather, man, you get so many pops and crackles when you downshift. Listen to that. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear that because it is freaking... Oh my God, it sounds so good. When it has the quick shifter and the, the termi up map, oh good Lord, look at those beautiful Santa Barbara mountains. Finally getting some sun, it won't stop raining. God, I love this bike. It's such a good bike. People keep asking me what bike I would buy for myself. What am I going to buy for my own personal bike? I really don't know. Um, this one definitely on the list. Uh, obviously the Panigale V4 is on the list. Uh, the MV Brutale Dragster. That's a bike I've always loved. Um, the RSV4 Aprilia is a really good bike. There's just too many good bikes really is what it comes down to. I just really haven't been able to make, it, make a decision lately. What's going on here? Can I go straight? Oh, the road is closed. All right, so the road was actually closed. I couldn't actually get to the beach. So we're stuck with this beautiful, uh, I just found another nice uh, overlook area here. But I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the carbon. So absolutely stunning. I'm very, very happy with it. That satin finish is freaking gorgeous. The front fender looks awesome. And then of course you got those beautiful uh, carbon fiber brake cooling ducts in the gloss. And I think it looks really nice together. I'm happy with how that's turning out. I got to, I got to tell you guys, you can't go wrong with black. Look at that. It's going to look so good when we get those black carbon belly panels on. We're going to leave this brushed steel because it'll match the tank. That'll be brushed steel. And then, of course, we got the uh, carbon on the rear end here. We got that Olin's full shock coming to replace that uh, Saks suspension, which is going to look amazing and really help the performance of the bike, the riding feel. Look at that thing, guys. And then, of course, the deep dish carbon wheels. Just arrived at uh, Moto Million. Manny's gonna send me some pictures tonight and then they'll be going on as soon as they get out here because I've been waiting for them for so freaking long. Look at that bike, guys. This thing is coming together so nicely. Actually, a guy just pulled up on his XD Avil. He had a 2016 in black and we were just chatting. He said he watches my videos, so shout out to him. I should have got him on video, I don't know why. But uh, we started our bikes up together because he didn't have the baffles in his. It's not that much of a difference. Mine's just a little bit lower, but um, yeah, super cool guy. And uh, if you guys ever see me out in public, I always say hi, man. Not only am I thankful that you watch my videos, but obviously we like the same things. So it's like meeting friends, you know. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's the end of this episode of the custom X Diablo series. Again, we got the front and rear fenders and carbon installed along with the brake cooling ducts. Super excited with how they turned out. Trevor did a great job, as always. If you want to snag any of the parts that you see on this motorcycle, uh, hit up Manny at Moto Million. You can use code CAMPEASY. Uh, to save yourself some money and don't forget we're going to be giving this bike away when we're done along with a worldwide giveaway a bike of your choice so be sure to check out the patreon page if you're interested in that as well as always thank you guys so much for watching hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification give the video a like and i'll see you in the